New York also saw a pair of next-gen stars reach the latter stages of a major for the first time in their careers. Russian Andrei Rublev reached his first major quarter-final, while Denis Shapovalov fell in the round of 16. And after his loss, the young Canadian headed to CNN Studios in Manhattan to reflect on his US Open progress. Good results always motivate me. I feel like I'm confident with competing with these guys on the on the highest level now. You know, I've I've, I've shown that the last couple of weeks. So yeah, it's, it's it's very inspiring. I've shown that I can compete with these guys, and uh, I think my game is there if I stay mentally tough through these matches. Uh, I've been I've been pulling through quite a bit. So you know, it's a, it's a very good sign, and uh, I feel like yeah, I can I could definitely push for the top 50 by the end of the year. It's definitely happened pretty fast. You know, in one month, of, I went from not being recognized a lot to you know almost. Everyone's uh, kind of noticing me, so it's been it's been a little bit of a switch. You know, I had a nice photo shoot, had a nice interview here, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a good day. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we'll catch up with the U.S. Open winners in singles and doubles, and we report on a year to treasure for the Zverev brothers. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.